So I'm just going to try and uh, show a few things that can be in to a string or a few ways in which someone can modify a string. So we'll start by putting a string in a string container. Uh, we'll just call it string container for now. And we'll use the word fight. One capital letter uh, and a bunch of lowercase letters. Right. Now let's say that I want to print this out. All I've got to do is use the print command. Nothing complicated there. Quite simple. Yeah. So print that. And guess what? The word fight comes out just as I have asked it to be. Now let's say I want an uppercase version of fight to be, uh, to be printed. I want string container to be the uppercase version of itself. So fight would all be in capitals. Well, there is actually a function called dot upper, called upper, sorry, that allows, that changes any string behind it with dot notation into an upper version of itself. Rather, it doesn't actually change the string, but it returns an upper case version of the string. So string container dot upper. And that shows me an uppercase version of the string. So it shows me what the, uh, it returns an uppercase version of the string. However, it doesn't actually change the string. It just shows me what an uppercase version uh, would be. Okay. So if I want to change that string permanently, I have to reassign string container equals string container dot upper so I have to reassign the value here and now when I print it it should be an uppercase we can do this uh, for lowercase as well so we can do string container dot lower and this will show us a lowercase version of string container but again if we print it out now it should actually be all in all capitals this is because the value of string container hasn't been changed. The lower function only shows me a lowercase version of the string container string. So in order to permanently change the string container string, once again, I have to reassign a value of string container dot lower. Yeah. And this now once printed out, should return fight in all lowercase letters. So that's essentially how we uh, can change a string to upper or lowercase version of itself. Okay. Another thing we can do is check whether a string is lower or uppercase. So we can check check if this is uh, lowercase, and that would be string container dot is lower and this will return a true or false value which is a boolean depending on whether string container is lowercase or uppercase or lowercase or uppercase might add okay so because it is lowercase it's returned true string container dot is upper will contain a false value as this is a false statement now Let's now change this to be upper. So it's now uppercase. If we print it, it'll print out fight as an uppercase. And if we run these same functions on it, it will have the opposite results returned. So dot is upper should return true. And dot is lower. will return false. Okay. What do you think will happen if we ask for it to return something that's neither upper or lower case and ask it if it's upper or lower case? So we'll make string container to be a mix of upper and lower case. And we'll find out what happens there. False, so it's not uppercase.
and it's not lowercase. This is because the functions only uh, uh, will only return a true value if every single character within the string is upper or lower case. So in this case, it's not all uppercase and it's not all lowercase. So it is false in both cases. We can also actually use both of these, uh, two of these functions or more than two of these functions together. So string container dot upper dot is upper. So what we are doing here is we're returning a upper uh, an uppercase version of this string which we've called string container and then we are going to return a truth value of uh, that string based on whether that string is upper or lowercase so because we're returning the uppercase of this is upper should give us a value of true and it has and if we use string container dot upper dot is lower we should get a value of false oh sorry about that string container dot upper dot is lower and this should be false and it would work vice versa if we uh, did dot lower with dot is upper this would return a false value and then dot lower with dot is lower would obviously return a true value and in this way we can actually use these functions together okay another thing we can do is actually check the length of this string so this string is one two three four five characters in length so if we use the command len with the variable name string container this should return the value 5 because this is of length 5 so let's return fighting just to show that there's a change in the length so length of fighting is 8 there are 8 characters in the word fighting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in this way we can find out the length of any string another thing we can do with a string is get the value at any part of the string so string container zero this will return the first word the first letter in the string now in python in any kind of list or any kind of well any collection of any kind numbers do not go from one to infinity they actually go from zero to infinity so in this case because fighting is uh, of length 8 the first character is character 0 and the last character is not character 8 it should be character 7 I can prove this because if I return string container 0 this should give me F and string container 7 should actually give me G which is the last G in the word fighting yep I can also get maybe string container 0 1 Two, and that should also give me G but for a different reason it'll give me G it'll give me a different one of those G we can also get the index of a string so for example if we want to see where the first I is in the word fighting we can use this string container dot index and we want to see where the first i is so if we use index i it should be number one because it's zero one here in the string string container n should be six because it should be the seventh letter but it's the sixth index and we can also look for the index of entire you know entire words or parts of words so pi for example in fighting is here so where does that start zero one two three it should start at the third index or the fourth index depending on yeah the fourth index it started at zero one two three four is because this is the fourth index 
So that there will return the index of whatever really. The, another thing we can do is replace certain words or certain uh, letters within our uh, our string. Let's say that we want to replace the letter F with the letter L in order to make the word lighting instead of fighting. This is now lighting, lighting. However, it hasn't changed the actual variable. It's just given us what it would the 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 uh, a string equivalent to what the string would be if we were to replace it. It hasn't actually changed the original string. I can also change uh, f i to l o if I want. It will come out with a nonsensical word. But nonetheless, I can do it. Logging. And I can also escape characters. But I will go into that later. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this.